Good morning, eLife. And so my name is Brian Seo, and I'm the college shepherd of the recently renamed uh, Umfang House Church alongside Audrey Lee. And throughout the last four weeks, I've had the opportunity to be able to attend Class 401, Discovering My Mission Bible Study, uh, taught by Caleb Richards. And during the class, I was able to learn about how the Bible caused us to spread the gospel. And I also learned how to share the gospel with other peoples using the Three Circles method. And so before taking this class, I had never directly shared the gospel with the VIP. Throughout my life, I've always been afraid to share the gospel because I believe people would judge me. And I assumed that people who weren't Christians wouldn't be very receptive towards Christianity and that these people would feel annoyed or angry to hear me talk about God. And therefore, by the time I was in high school, I refused to talk about religion to my friends while in school. Even when I attended university, I was hesitant to share the gospel directly and I would try to send people to church or to house church to have someone else uh, do my work. When we were assigned to spread the gospel to at least two people, I immediately became nervous. While writing down the VIPs in our own lives, God had compelled me to reach out to one of my high school friends. I knew that he wasn't Christian, but I didn't know how receptive he would be to hearing about Jesus because we had never talked about religion during our time in high school. Since we attend different universities, I also didn't know what his thoughts were on religion in general during the last three years, nor did I know if anyone had already reached out to him. I was afraid that my attempts to share the gospel with him would put a strain in our friendship. When I told Caleb about my fear, he told me that it was completely normal, and that he said that I can bring up sharing the gospel as required homework if I really wanted to. And so after praying to God for courage, I texted my uh, friend to FaceTime. After updating our lives, I began talking to him about the gospel. And as I was sharing, I noticed that he was completely paying attention, and he didn't seem repulsed to my presentation. Upon further sharing, I would learned that his only experience of Christianity was going to a Christian preschool. He wasn't religious, not because he didn't believe in a God, but because religion in general had not been a focus in his life. And after I finished sharing the gospel, I told him to reach out to me if he had any questions, and that I can help him find a Christian community in his university if he wanted. He thanked me for sharing the gospel with him, which was something that I hadn't expected. While my friend didn't accept Jesus that day, I realized that he was receptive to at least hear about the gospel. I had learned from class 401 that not many people immediately accept God, so there wasn't a success rate nor an expectation or uh, metric to have everyone who I shared with to believe in Jesus. I realized that had God not compelled me to reach out to my friend, there was a good chance that he would have never been introduced to Christianity. And I believe that now he now has a seed planted in his heart and is ready to sprout whenever it's God's perfect timing. And so this experience had taught me a valuable lesson. It's important to, share, uh, to spread the gospel to give people the option to learn about God and potentially be saved, regardless of whether they accept God in their lives at the time. As I continue to share the gospel to others, I'm certain that I'll come across people who are not as receptive or may even get angry at me. However, I know that God will be pleased if I'm, if, even if I'm rejected 99 times. For in this search, I may find the one person who had been looking for God their entire life. Thank you for listening.